What's going on guys and in today's video I'm gonna be going over how you guys can prepare for this season Sam season now um, I know you guys are probably thinking it's only June I know the season doesn't really open until July 16th and then it is, I think it goes all the way through end of November so it ends around um, November end of November um, but yeah I'm just gonna get this video out to you guys early so you guys can prepare for it because um, it's coming I'm gonna be going over the gear, the rod, the reel, the line, the lures, and even your own mental state when you're fishing for salmon. It's a big mental game as well. So we'll go over that. So um, yeah, let's get into it. So as far as um, gear gear wise, um, you can use anything you want. As you can see, this is just like my bass and striper setup. Um, but just remember, the lighter you go, like in terms of gear wise, the more you want to play them out because. Um, when you're fishing with like you know 12 or 10 pound line which i am right here is which i am doing right here um you really got to play them out or else you'll snap them off so just remember just play them out don't horse them in too fast um but if anything make sure you have a lot of line or a decent amount of line on your spool um the rod and reel don't really matter as long as you know you play them well um and you can cast far but make sure you have a good decent amount of line because these salmon are very very strong yeah, they can spool you easily, especially if you have um, the bigger ones. So just make sure you have the right gear. Okay, so that's going to be it, and I will explain the lures right now. Okay, guys, so this is the lures that um, I recommend starting off out with. Um, so I'm going to be going over, starting from the flying C, and we'll work our way down. So first of all, the flying C is what you'll see everyone using out, like on Freeport or on the Sacramento River. Uh, this is my favorite color, just the... Right here, oh shoot. The pink with the silver blade, it's my favorite color. But any color will work as long as you get in front of their faces. Um, they'll bite this. Uh, so all you do is um, you just throw it out there and you let it sink for a little bit and you reel it back to you and the blade will just spin like this. Okay. It'll just spin like that, it'll spin. Um, another one is a blue fox or the slammer spinners. If you fish, uh, if you go to that bait shop in Freeport, they sell the slimers, and those are really good as well. Um, I wish I could show you guys. I'll be right back if I can find one. Um, I couldn't find a slimer spinner, but you know when you see one. It's just another flying C, but a little, a lot heavier and um, a lot bigger. That's all it is. So, yeah. Any spinner will work. Uh, I prefer the flying C or the slammer. Uh, I noticed the blue fox is a little too light to um, cast with. So, yeah. That's one. Uh, number two is a jerk bait. Now I've caught salmon on jerk bait before, as you can see. You see its teeth marks all over, and even lost its eye. But yeah, you see its gash marks from the salmon teeth. Um, but yeah, jerk baits do really well um, with salmon. The only the only downside is that um, your arm might get tired after casting for like two hours straight with the jerk bait. So I recommend swapping off and on with just flying sea or jerk bait. But yeah. Jerk bait works really good for salmon. Uh, it makes them react to it. But with the jerk bait, you catch them just as good as well. All right, so the second lure would be a fluke. Now, it's just like a soft jerk bait. Um, it'll dart side to side, like twitch side to side, and it'll slowly fall. It'll like shimmy on the way down and jerk, jerk, jerk. Um, I know people who caught uh, salmon on a fluke before when fishing for stripers. Um, but yeah, this is another good bait. It just fishes like a jerk bait. Um, but yeah, you can definitely use that if you don't want to use the jerk bait. And uh, I'll link all these baits in the description below so you can just buy off of Amazon and you don't have to go anywhere. Go with the spoon. Now, if you if you fish on the Freeport area, you'll see people on the boats and they'll be like jigging their rod tip up and down like that in like a 12 o'clock position. Like if you go from 9 to 12 with their rod. And all they're doing, they're using like a spoon. This is just a P-line uh, laser minnow. This is a half ounce, but they use like the one or three ounce minnows but um yeah that's all they do they let it sink to the bottom and they rip it up let it sink to the bottom and rip it up and the salmon when they're sitting on the floor or on the floor but like on the bottom they'll come up and smack the minnow out of um pure aggression but yeah that's another good way uh, i recommend don't fish like this if you're on the bank though um i've seen it happen i've seen people do it but um, I don't recommend you doing this because you might get snagged a lot. But the next bait would be the glide bait. Um, that's probably not an option you would think of, but um, it works. Uh, and all it does, it curves side to side like this. And then the salmon, 
Like, you know, you fish a glide bait, you get a lot of followers. Even the carp seem to be interested in this, too. And then when they come by, you twitch, twitch real quick. And then what, that make, what the glide bait will do, you twitch really quick with either your rod tip or your reel. And it'll dart, dart side to side like that. And the salmon will just come and hammer at this thing. As you can see, it has treble hooks. The hooks are pretty well. Um, but yeah, those are the baits. Um, again, everything will be in the description below. So yeah, these are the baits that I would personally recommend. So go ahead and try these out. Okay, so as far as mental state goes, you got to go out there with a with a state of mind knowing that you might not get bit that day. So um, I'm not saying you won't get bit. I'm saying that you got to go out there with a the mindset knowing you might. You just got to lower your expectations. That's all I'm saying. Don't expect to go out there and expecting you might get bit every other second like bass or striper fishing. It's not like that. It's more um, you got to cast for like at least, you know, a thousand casts until you get bit or something like that. Um, yeah, sometimes I fish, we fish for like three hours and get one salmon. That's how it is sometimes. Or you might fish for two hours and get nothing. I'm just nonstop casting. Um, but yeah, just that's the mindset you got to be in. Just knowing you got to be in the zone and just keep on working the bank. Um, but yeah, that's how your mindset should be when salmon fishing. Um, that's all you can do pretty much. So yeah, just be positive and have a positive outlook. All right, so that's going to be it for today's video. Um, that's going to be it. So look forward to all the other videos that are coming about salmon season. Um, but I'm going to be going over the spots and where you can catch them and how to catch them. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.